So I just got back to the boat. It's about five o'clock Friday afternoon. Bought some things to play this weekend. Uh, to start with, bought a coffee machine so I can have a hot coffee straight away in the morning. But I've also bought some top coat. Uh, thinking of trying to get some uh, the black top coat on top of the white primer that's already out just for the winter. I've also bought six, uh, two packs of six scrabbler wheels for the roof and a whole bunch more solvent resistant rollers. So uh, yeah, we can go on with some painting. Uh, I think we're doing some painting tomorrow. I think Tim's coming up. We're going to paint the last side of the boat that hasn't been painted. That would be this one. Um, so I'm going to do some prep today, get the windows taped up, make sure, you know, check the weather, make sure that looks like it's going to be okay. I left bright sunshine to this. Yeah, so we'll see how it gets on today. Okay, cool. Uh, Ten past six, the birds are telling me night time's on its way. I've just built this little platform uh, ready for tomorrow. Eagle-eyed amongst you will probably have seen me fall off this once or twice, even though you probably didn't see it. Um, I've taped up all the windows and put plastic on them this time instead of taping the whole things. So that's prepped for tomorrow. Uh, yeah, good stuff. So this hatch is in pretty bad state, so we'll see what, how that takes tomorrow. The hinges are fur tanned about four months ago. <laughs> Just, you know, had extra fur tanned, put it on the rust. So we'll see what that's like when we grind that back. But the rest of it, it's not too bad. It's probably going to be the easiest of the four bits we've done, I think. But at least it's got the less least amount of surface rust so far but you're knowing us there'll be you know rust underneath the entire thing so but we'll see how we get on tomorrow uh, yeah. yeah so the sun's just breaking uh, Tim's just got here we're gonna have a look at uh, starting on this side so windows are all good yeah so let's see how today goes yeah, wicked. You looking forward to it? Sort of, kind of. <laughs> okay. <well. laughs> Two o'clock, just finished sanding and grinding all the side down. This one was in really good shape compared to the others. There's almost no rust under any of the mill scale. Just little spots that we've ground back out. So I'm just gonna go out on a run and get some lunch and Tim is gonna wipe down the sides ready. But uh, yeah, this hatch has been a bit of a nightmare. But yeah, it's mostly done. But yeah, we're gonna get some fur tin on that. Uh, yeah, should be fun. And we'll paint it tomorrow. So with a couple of hours left in the afternoon, I think we're going to give the starboard side of the boat just a little flash over with the grinder, with the um, random orbit sander and just put another coat of paint on this today while there's still a bit of light left while we've got a couple of hours. Just this top section, we're going to sand off all the staining from the fur tan and a couple of bits, just try and flush it down a little bit, put another coat on, ready to be sanded and then top coated or at least the first coat of top coat paint. But yeah, we're gonna get on with that, I think. So we're just trying to outrun the sun now. It's about five o'clock. Just sanded this whole side down, all the gunnel, all the side of the boat. We're going to start painting that now. Uh, put a second coat on, well, a third coat, and then lay it off. Uh, yeah, so let's do that.
Days are definitely drawing in. Um, it's not quite half six yet. And the sun is down, down. Yeah, coming along, ready for ready for top coat now. Just the other side's paint in the morning. Uh, then that will need another coat, and then that'll be ready for top coat. Then it's just that and the roof and the bow. Yeah, he's done and prepping for tomorrow morning. Moving the stand down here so I can get to this, and then I'll fill up the bucket of water, get all my gear ready, so we can jump straight to this as soon as I'm up and at it in the morning. Wicked. It's getting dark quick now. The, uh, the phone's turned the light on. So I've got the stand ready for the morning. Here's a quick look. Like I said, the mill scale was in pretty good shape, just a couple of spots, it was pretty well contained, so we're going to take a lot of the paint off. That we already have taken off, uh, is reacted underneath already. So uh, we'll leave this till the morning, get all the fur tan off as usual. If you've been watching, you know how that goes. Then, uh, yeah, this side's in the shadow, so we'll have to dry it off, then we'll sand it all down, get all the fur tan off, put a key in it, paint it in the morning, and then we can go. Wicked. But yeah, another lovely, quiet evening at North Kilworth Wharf. So nice and quiet, apart from the bird noise, the dog noise on the road, but you don't even hear that after a while. Apart from that, everything is super quiet. Yeah, in a bit. Just uh, a shot of this, the back and the side of the boat completely painted. With a primer, of course. Fantastic. So it's about half seven now. It is truly dark. Welcome to winter, everybody. Uh, yeah, so I've got a camp set up. Uh, this is pretty good double quilting now as it gets colder and colder. I've got the space blanket underneath as the very bottom layer because the airbed can get cold. Anybody that slept in an airbed I'll tell you. So I found an, um, an American sweet shop in Market Harbour which is awesome. Got me some orange vanilla coke and some original Mountain Dew and some Berry Blast Mike and Ike's. So yeah that's awesome. So that's loads of fun. That's helping me uh, sugar fix through the evening. But yeah so there's my camp set up. Uh, I've put some stuff back on the wall. Still be doing a bit of cleaning down, a bit of tidying up. I'm just going to get some dinner on now. Uh, go over to John's boat, John's new boat, and start a fire for the first time. Should be quite good fun. Yeah. So we're just over on John's boat now. Uh, just going to play with his stove. He's never lit it before. So we're just going to come and have a look. This is the stove. We've got some scraps of wood, uh, bits of card. We've got some fire logs over here, and those are fire starters. So yeah, we're gonna load it up and get a fire going for the first time, I think. Wicked. So there we are. So here we are on John's boat with the stove going. It's got an air intake here. Screw it shut by opening it all the way up. Yeah, it's a nice little fire. Uh, fire master, I think it is. Yeah. So here we are, nine o'clock Sunday morning. Just come out to have a look at the fur town. Yeah, it's not too bad. Get all of this off. Maybe we'll get a wash up shortly. And a grinder sand and a paint. And then at some point all of this will need redoing again. Awesome. on Sunday. Uh, the foam basher died just as I was finishing painting this up. But I went back over and gave it a second coat. It looks incredible. Um, all the gunnel is going to get sanded and repainted. So we'll get rid of some of this uh, staining. And we came all the way down uh, past the hatch to probably halfway to that wall. You can probably see the, the line. But then all this will get sanded, get a, another coat, and then we're on with top coat. Then let's go and have a look at the other side real quick. Smooth as plaster in places. I've got black top coat, so that should be interesting seeing all the boat black instead of white grey. But uh, still got the roof to do, the stern deck here and the bow deck to do. But uh, that's all the sides of the boat painted, which is fantastic. It looks incredible. Again, the far end will probably need a second coat, and then it's ready for uh, blacking. Not blacking, ready for black top coat. Still got the roof to do as well. But yeah, so that'll probably do it for, for this weekend. Yeah, have fun, everybody.